Okay. Uh, let's get you this should go. Let's complete the quest. Oh, we'll get a new one. As a curious dedicated fountain camera. Okay, let's read that once I get the item. Everything's set here. <laughs> ah, there was an event there, wasn't it? The thing with the jellyfishes. That's a theory. Yeah, I wouldn't remember her name so cold I definitely shouldn't have just gone out into the wind willy-nilly uh, hey no spymo it's you are true uh is it gear what are you doing here are you okay how do you make it out this far all by yourself why couldn't you just travel like everybody I'm well fine I'm much better now see I'm not even coughing anymore was she sick? I don't remember. Huh. You sure about that? Let me right back and check. No, no need. I admit it. I sneaked out on my own. Happy? Okay, I don't remember she was... She had anything. I didn't have a choice. How could I possibly paint beautiful pictures if I just sat in Azuma all the time? And in the end, won't I be the one having to take pictures for you? And you're just gonna paint from the pictures? Even if I have you running around taking pictures for me, picture references can compare to seeing things with your own eyes. So as an author I worked with before to contact a merchant ship for me. Uh, and quietly hitch a ride with them so we could travel. You even brought all your painting tools with you. But of course, the canvas is, my very, is in my very soul. How could I ever abandon my, any of them? Plus, my paintings are selling exceptionally well in Fontaine. I feel Fontainian authors have asked, even asked me to do the covers for their novels. Well, yeah, shouldn't we be able to put the pictures we take on the was of our house so apparently putting illustrations through how novels isn't a thing for them truly strange all right since you happen to be here Inus, would you mind helping me collect some reference materials leave it to me all right then but don't go running off i know and now like i can deal with those clockwork mecha anyway when it comes to dealing with all kind of kinds of weird monsters, you're the cream de la cream. Okay, let me have a look. As it happens, I've now received a few more commissions from some authors. Okay, they all unlocked, good. Oh, seems to be plenty. Uh, the great tree and legends. Uh, uh, constructing a classic story must necessarily also involve a legendary place. For example, a cathedral where the hero has stored their trusty blade, a cave where pirates have stashed their stash, or a castle from which the demon lord might be awakened. And a gen tree is a classic even amongst classics, a timeless landmark, whether it be as a journey's starting point or its destination. As it so happens, this author's tale begins in a nation not un too unlike Mondstadt, so I'm sure we'll find a most suitable reference location there. Okay, I thought it would be on Fontaine. She has already, it's there! Uh, for the Grand Great Tree of Rain Rise, the character using charged attack. I complete any of the following character is a part of animal, character is from Mondstadt, so let's use. Ah, okay, let's do both. Uh, uh, her notes are dead. Alright. 
Hmm. I mean, we could go with Venti, but I guess Jin will be better suited for this tree. Uh, 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 Ready for anything. Ah, you must equip as a gear's dedicated fountain camera and interact with the photo taking point to enter the photo taking mode. The process is split into adjustment phase where you determine the photo setting and photo take phase which you can move and use your skill. During the adjustment phase, you need to first select your camera setting, then proceed to adjust the position and angle of the photo. Uh, setting. Uh, take note of the photo taking points. You must be within the camera frame once you confirm settings. Uh, the angle of the image will be the decided by the settings adjusted. <laughs> Mm. During the photo taking process, the direction of the shot will be indicated by the reflector's beam. Mm. We can just camera settings. Okay, you can take pause. Uh, okay, let's figure it out. More? Uh, okay. Oh, it's a charge. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Equip. Uh. Here. Okay, a camera will be taken from Zagiri, used to help her complete her work of gathering inspiration on her trip to Fontaine. The camera is well maintained, clearly showing that these artists pay much, uh, as much attention to this key tool as she does uh, her paints and brushes. Okay, I thought this would be a Onwards. reward. We have work to do. Okay, I have to pick it all. And what's that? Well, if I could move her, maybe it would be a bit better. Okay, this I guess looks more dynamic. Where's the... Ah, that. Um, but that's not really... Oh, no, that was horrible. Uh, keep taking photos. Maybe this will be better. Too far. Okay, a bit better. But I don't like that I'm not constantly seeing from the uh, and yeah, kinda. We can do a bit better. No, I'm too far still. No, I did. Ah, no, no, no. I want to do it better. Confirm. Yeah, I hate that. Why can't I just keep that angle there? Yeah, I guess that's more what I wanted. Yeah, but that sucks to pose them properly. When my view was fixed on the camera, it was better. This event was working fine already. They didn't have to mess it up. Claim mm, rewards. Mm, there's no nothing here. Uh, I think there was a new text about the the thing, the book or something after completing it on the previous one. Uh, this one, the great images from afar, gazing upon Tower Foreign. I'm sure you know the scene in most novels in which the protagonist, never having seen the world before, suddenly steps into a prosperous city and starts gawking in shock 
and the strange new architecture that surrounds them. I'm not exactly from the boonies, but I was deeply moved by the sight of the giant waterfalls in Roma, in Roma Maritime Harbor itself, nonetheless. The third volume that this commissioner has written covers the life of the, the life the protagonist leads after arriving in the big city. When they first saw the place, they made a gesture to pump themselves up. I hardly guess that Romartime Harbor atop the waterfall will make for a perfect cover image. We have Romartime Harbor, use elemental skill, Turtle Woods Hydro, uh, Arc. Is Noma. I never really care about those. I have no idea who is Noma, who is Ozia. Ah, from here? Hmm. Well, let's keep both here so I'll. Uh, let's see... No water... No... She is... No! Come on! She is round! Okay... No, don't have... Switch... And now... Witness my magnificence! <laughs> uh... Novelist doesn't really need one, does he? I want to rotate them. Why can't Thank I you for permitting. Here? No, inviting me to join you. Uh, you don't really have anything. You didn't even pretend before. Uh, do they say anywhere? I don't know where they say that. Profile. Hmm. And I don't even, even don't even know. Maybe he isn't anything. Ah, Arke. Oh yeah, she's both there. I forgot about it. Yeah, she's... Let's take a look if I have anybody else that is from Fontaine and is water. She's wind. Uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, you'll be the her novelette. It better be her. Yeah. Uh, so where is the camera thing? Oh. This angle, this angle, this angle. Th that one. Better. Now, ah, he's Neoma like that. She's Neoma like that. Yeah. I like the other one better, but okay. Um, so sure. No, uh, the picture. Just so I take a look. Yeah, I know I failed. That was intentional. Hmm. Just so I know where she is. Another thing is in the way. This account is she using? No. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I think it was Novelettes. Maybe that would look better. Yeah, but now I want that thing to get out of the way. Silence! Ah, it's fine. The one I got for her is better. Oh, I actually didn't save. Did I save the other one? Yeah, not that I will ever use that anyway. Ah, whatever. I won't use that photo for anything anyway. A quiet homeland. A light novel readers have a special nickname for the place where the protagonist is briefly active before they go out uh, and do their great deeds. They have pulled home. Uh, in some works, such a place plays host to neither powerful friends nor foes, which allows the protagonist to display their stunning rate of growth. But many readers also find that this makes safe stars rather old-fashioned in from Lake, and robs the initial companions one meat of significance. Yeah, it depends on the story. What do I think you ask? Well, I'm of the later camp. Those the protagonist meets in the star should also constantly improve. That's the reality of how it is in Diva. And it just wouldn't be any fun otherwise. Uh, speaking of which, what sort of place would you find closest to the concept of said happy old home? Hmm. Uh, Constant city. That's more like a bustling city. Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe any other any other village. Character is walking or running. Character with the power of pyro. Must be a claymore. Yeah, spring veil. Change a village. I was actually thinking I forgot the name. The one here. Konda Village. Feels like a Cozy life. Okay, so it's the big city in the background, but yeah. But even so, we sh it should be a calmer home. In the background. Uh, claimer. Well, they are begging me to use the look. Um, do I have any other pyro uh, claymore? Ah, it doesn't have to be from all stats, actually. Well, him? Yeah, I would prefer the look now. Yeah, if it's some. If it's supposed to be someone starting on their journey, it would be nice if it was him. Well, she's Pyro, but she's... I don't think she fits most that. Hmm... Yeah, it's gonna be Diluc. What's our objective? Oh yeah, I got a thing for him. <laughs> he must be running. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Good. Good, good. Yeah, but if he's running, I think this would be better. No, what? Huh? You didn't take a picture where I was. You took pictures from before. Yeah, what's with the turn over there? That's no one I pressed it. Yeah, in the break he turned into the other side. Ok, 
Okay. No, he should be rising. Ah, come on. Kinda. Keep taking. Oh, he's almost out, out of the view. <laughs> yeah, now I think I got what I wanted. Yeah, I should remove that. Uh, remove. Okay, that one. No, no, I won't stop. No, not as we can rest challenge. a bitch. Ah, that's okay. It's it's complete anyway from here, is it? Yeah. Uh, the beauty of mystique. Uh, when the story enters a phase in which a puzzle must be investigated, shifting the stage to a mysterious yet beautiful place. It is a good time to tug on readers' heartstrings. This author's work has entered a critical stage in the puzzle solving process, and as such, she'd like me to draw a cover for her new volume that combines a fantastical atmosphere with captivating beauty. I've heard that Erinus Forest is the sort of place that fits the bill. Fog Forest Path, normal attack. Cryo uh, is from Fontaine. Uh, do I have anybody but what? Uh, Wesley. He doesn't really fit the forest. Actually, I'm having a hard time thinking of another Cryo from Fontaine. Hmm, he fits better. I mean, not really, but it's less weird than Rashley in the woods. Yes, take me. Yeah, I guess so. Let's get here. If this area shows up in there. Ah, oh, yeah, he'll be hidden behind that. Kinda. Okay, he's gonna have to be here. Hmm, that works. Yeah, that's okay. No, next. A passion's vest. This time, I ran into an author who enjoys writing great scenes of war. And they're good. After reading this no his novel and his cover art request, I find my blood boiling too. In this, in the latest volume, the author depicts an army facing down. Uh, many times their number. An impregnable wall of steel, 
and standing firm in defending disadvantageous terrain against terrible foes. The cover needs to leave a kind of panic terror at first glance before inspiring an indomitable will to fight. I never received such a request before, but my guess is that an ancient famous battlefield would be uh, the best reference. Any ideas? Hmm. Cinnabar Cliff, I don't remember by name. Uh, I don't. The character with Spark Chio must be a polar. Hmm. That's. Uh, okay, there's only one guy for the job. Can I now? Why? Ah, I didn't finish that. Let's see if there's anybody else that could fit the bill, but it's probably only. Uh, Geo and Polar, yeah, but not here. Yeah, it is only. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. Uh, once she gets released, I'll spend some primos every day. Yeah, guess here. And he's already posing. Alright. No, no, no. That one with this here. There. Hey. No, not really. Uh, um, it's been a while that I don't save for a specific character. Uh, not that much. <laughs> oh, I try to get every character, but... Only as free to play. I don't. I go with the ones. <laughs> I go with the ones I have. Uh, I have available. I want to get them all. Uh, Tower of Sorrow. Have you heard? In places where many lives have been lost, their fear and sorrow seep into the very soil. And though trees and flowers may sprout and grow thereafter, the air will still carry the faint scent of sadness. Hmm, that, that's what the historian who commissioned it said. Either way, this author is spending a novel rooted in historical facts that has been suitably dramatized in some places for effect. And so we need to we need uncover that's bright, yet carries that note of tragedy. He recommended that I take use of the scenery from Elena's as a reference. So I must confess that I don't really understand why. I thought it would be the haunted uh, town here in Liyue. Photographed sites within the Elena's hinterland. Character using a charge attack, electro and surge. Okay, so probably chloride. Uh, there. Uh, uh, you see some that I saved up for war, no flat in Harlequino. 
Damn, I spent some... some more. Uh, yeah, I want somebody from Fontaine. So I suppose we'll have to be her. Yeah. Per your wishes. Hey, thanks. Ah. Ah, this one's fancy. I know charge at that. Kill. Hmm. Hey, I'm doing great. What about you? Kill. Oh, I actually like the one with the sword. Yeah, this cloth here is a bit weird, but it kind of looks like she's sheathing the sword. No, I need to paint it. Alright, returning home, they say that the toughest segment of a long form story with many twists and turns is to have a dignified ending that gives each main character a satisfying conclusion. This time I've encountered an amazing author who's managed to do just that. Now she even intends to separately publish a follow-up epilogue detailing what happens to the characters after they've retired back to the place where they'll grow old. Well, that's interesting, but sounds like it would be a bit boring for a whole story. Such As such, we'll need a cover reference that involves a quite peaceful village with lots of elderly residents. Chinse. Village, elemental skill. Why bother the elderly with elemental skills? Uh, wields a power of uh, cryo is from Liyue. Okay, let's get this sleepy one. Okay. No, I during the week I don't really have a uh, exact day, but I usually stream Genshin when there's new stuff. I don't, I'm not really a pro player or anything, but usually every other Saturday I'm streaming Tears of the Kingdom because I'm going through every Zelda. Yeah, I guess here. Oh, I forgot to change. Uh, uh, cryo? Oh, huh, this could be her as well. Could be her as well. And they all look sleepy. Um, yeah, but she was the one I was thinking of at first. So let's use her. Time to begin work? Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. I'll Born drop by and... Oh, that she gets away from the camera. I'll drop by and follow you back once I'm done here. Uh, let me swap to another one. Yeah, she'll get out of the camera. Uh, you. What's happening? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's place her on the rock. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Mirror stars. Sometimes a place of pure and simple beauty can do more to flesh a character out than complex surroundings. 
This author's rustic taste has resulted in this commission for a mirror-like water surface combined with a starry or clear sky which would together reflect the protagonist. Simple yet good as well, a simple cover might just stand out in a sea of complex ones. Uh, I hear that the east of the Mount Automeki is home to beautiful waters, so could you please go and check it out? Ah, cool, but I really can, can afford things to, for the channel or anything. If you want, you can leave your link there for anyone to follow. Uh, 9 to 21, uh, Dendro and Bow. Okay, so you won't be able to be somebody from Fontaine. Uh, I don't really have a Discord server. Uh, I... I guess it's just Super Geek Bros like in the... My username. Super Geek Bros like the name of the channel. But I'm uh, not sure. But I can add it afterwards. I just don't really use Discord too much. Uh, okay, this guy. One, it's not two, really very reflective. Three, Will be more at night. Four and um. Uh, uh, the character doesn't really have to do anything. Just stay here. So let's swap to um, Tainari or Kali. Do I have other options? Yeah, I think Kali. Tainari stands out too much. Let's go. Mm. Okay, let's go around eight. Should just be. Hanging here? No, just face the camera a bit more. Alright. Yeah, it's all the same. Hey, you too. I like flames, uh, lively festivals, my favorite activity. A certain Fontaine author shares my sentiments and has written of, of just such an event based on a ceremony taking place on a foreign land. Uh, the eventide lit scene under which the male and female protagonists agree to meet is very popular amongst readers and is a suitable choice for the cover art. You know what? The more I think about it, the more it seems like Amakane Islands uh, the best choice for such a scene. Yoimiya? No, Electro. Rena Zoom. Okay, so the other bow character. Uh, 18 to 20. No, actually, I was thinking about Kujosara, but oh no, I have to walk there. But if the background is the castle, it may be better to be the shogun itself. Uh. Hmm, I think they should learn. I mean, those things cover more than one character, but 
I'm not sure anybody could complete without with only the base characters. Like here, it must be in a zoom, so uh, it must be Electro. So it has to be somebody you actually try to get. There are some options, but oh no, it has to be one of the following, right? So it doesn't doesn't really have to be in a zoom with Electro. Yeah, so it could be Lisa. Well, they aren't really doing anything, right? Just staying there, so... Stay oh, close actually, and think, you will live. I think I bought her pose. Can I use here? Uh... No. The gate has shown up. Uh... I can't really... Inactivities. Let me confirm here. There's no purpose whatsoever. F two. Uh. -huh. Yeah, of oh, pose ready for battle. Ah, that one. Cool. They release a hard to get pose that can only be used during the photo uh, shoot. And you can use that during the photo event. They they show up. One day, I will show huh. this to all uh. <laughs> okay, that looks nice. But it could be better. How did they not allow us to use those poses here? Uh, let me double check here. Animal, we get the animal guy, we get plenty of people from all stats. Uh, we have a high, we have free Barbara. Or we try to get some. Uh, Okay, but we can get a free Barbara. We have uh, Amber. Or we have Noel. Uh, we have Kaya. Oh, I'm not sure. We have a free Lynette as well, right? Um, we have uh, Noel. We have Shanlin. We have uh, Lisa, have Kaya, we have uh, Traveler and stuff, Kaya, Chanlin, uh, Kali, yeah, that's Kali. <laughs> uh, yeah, in Azuma we don't get anybody for free, but this again. Uh, flowers in the Eerie Mist. Uh, the client this time is a writer skilled at weaving suspense. His adventure novels for elegant settings, heart stopping short stories, and tumultuous narrative progression that has a really mixed reputation amongst readers. Uh, anyway. Ah, she's telling me that. I thought she wrote what I needed. Or she wrote the cough. Anyway, in this, his latest short, I mean, in this 
suspenseful novel, the protagonist Tim is currently traversing a sea of flowers shrouded by eerie mist. The author has also stressed that a good cover will require reference work from Elinas rather than Tsurumi Island, as I suggested. Oh well, he's the boss, I guess. Uh, for the, the flower beds of the northerly Elinas foothills, characters walking or running, animal could be the traveler. No, oh, don't we have another? Oh uh, yeah, Lynette. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we get Lynette for free, so we get an. Um, animal uh, besides the traveler and it must be a catalyst okay so it could be lisa as well but an animal catalyst because i want to use both um, i'm not sure who do i have for the animal catalyst i oh, am yeah. uh sucrose Ah, here as well. Hmm. No, no, I want sucrose. More than him. Ah, and shit as well. Uh, 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 uh. Let's just see if there isn't anybody else. Ah, he uses uh, catalyst as well. And she. Okay, there's a bunch. How did I not think of one? Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, her suit kind of looks Fontaine too. Yeah, it's gonna be her. My experiment. Uh, are we fighting? Settle down. I'm not sure there are well equipped for fighting. Bow your head. Be sanctified. Besides, no glass. Okay, just behind there. I thought the thing vanished <laughs> when I was because I was in a fight. Um. Okay, I wouldn't call it that flower. Bad, but uh, flower bushes. Uh, she must be walking or running. Oh, damn it. Come on, why don't you get the thing I'm actually doing now? Stop running. No. She's just tiny now. That isn't. Why is she doing that? I didn't do that. I was just walking. Why the hell did she turn like that? I want her walking. The first one. Just that, taking a stroll, no big deal. No, no, that's done. <laughs> Okay, almost there. Leaf green moonlight. Our client said that this volume opens with the protagonist unable to sleep pacing in a courtyard under the clear moonlight, only to be dragged into the strange battle, in some strange battle. He also specifically noted that this protagonist is based on a researcher from Sumeru. Uh, in which case, the cover should be set in some botanical garden in Sumeru. I love clients who are straightforward about their requests, although I might have preferred 
it if he had not misspelled Hardy's die. DI. Uh, not that I blame him, he's a Fontaine author who rarely leaves home and has never seen, even seen the research institute. Only due to the lack of time, of course, which appears to be a common issue for many authors. Mm, but if he hardly leaves home and he writes a lot, shouldn't he read, read a lot and know how to write things? Uh, part is DI, uh, idle animation, part of dangerous from Sumeru. Okay, so yeah, I guess it was a good call to use colleague back there because Tainari is the researcher. Oh, but I think I'd rather use Kave. Hmm. Yeah, he still looks more like a ranger than a researcher. This place has more to do with him. Hmm. Yeah, I think his looks would be better, but his an idle animation would probably use that briefcase, uh, which who won't ate a poisonous really make sense in this setting. Alright. Do your thing. Come on. Storm suspended. Oh, hang on. Uh, here was a uh, and here could be could be Kali. Uh, I must say that of all my clients this time, this one's probably the best in terms of appreciating life. Before the final battle in his work, his protagonist resolved a periodic crisis and decided to conserve their strength before the climax. Enjoying a period of leisurely rest in a countryside mansion. The mansion is spontaneous in design and possesses everything you could possibly want in abundance, especially food. Even I got hungry reading it. I hear that there is just such a scene in the southern area of Elena's. Could I trouble you to, f to help me find some inspiration there? A mansion? I think there'll be some cozy houses there, but not mansions. Uh, photograph house in Southern Shore of Elinas, use elemental skill, or shield and claimer. So, <laughs> I'll take a picture of the maid that is painting to the mansion. Oh, yeah. But it's one of the few that both uh, requests would fit into the same free character. Keep up. Let me see. If I have any other. Geoclaimer. Uh, claimer. No, ju just her geoclaimer. Oh, how exciting! Uh, start. Hi, personal info. Ah, interval timer. Ah, okay, turn that thing off. Yeah, I would actually like to see from the camera's view. 
Yeah, that one. Elemental skill. Oh, she can just stay here then. I must leave. Yeah. That was better to get the right timing. No stone unturned. Alright, money, money, money. The protagonist finds an amazing treasure during their adventures. And yet, such treasure cannot just be spent directly like money, nor can you eat it. So, how can you extract the value from it? Well, you sell, you trade it for money, then you can spend it like money. The answer lies in the bustling market. Salters love the sense of infinite mercantile opportunity with dark undercurrents that comes with a harbor. As our hero tries to sell the treasure, a thrilling adventure may also unfold. For example, they might get robbed by the local gangs. This author is no different. He's fixed on Port Ormos in particular, which I too think is a perfect choice. Uh, for the Port Ormos, character is using charge attack, uh, Hydra and Catalyst. Ah, so it could be Barbara from the beginning. But I don't think she really looks like an adventurer. Hmm. Let's let's get to the spot in the Oh we we look at the harbor from here. I was thinking of Lua Harbor, but uh Okay, okay, too close, yeah, that one, let's see some other kind of, uh, here, but doesn't look like an adventure, uh, sword, sword, she doesn't really look like an adventure, I guess she's the one that looks most like an adventure from the Hydro Catalysts. This is how it must be. Albert Arch Attack is just Ah okay, yeah, I was confusing with that. Okay. No no no, yeah. Let me see. Oh, I did I I added that already? Oh. No. Why is that? Okay, let's get close. A close up. Then, yeah. Keep it's not. Yeah, uh, I know it's written there, but it feels not. Uh, I'm forgetting the words. I'm. I keep thinking this is to confirm. This is to try or something like that. Alright. It's not intuitive. That's the word I was missing. Uh, magical branch. Remember the giant tree at the turn's beginning we spoke of earlier? A magical tree or large plane that is training his characters is such quite is also quite a common feature in many novels. Such magical planes can give the protagonist an opportunity for a game-changing breakthrough, and the related plots and subplots can go on a couple dozen chapters, bringing in some cash to tidy, tidy you over while buying some time for the rest of the plot to reap. Uh, the second half of that was the client's words, not mine. 
I've heard that there is a giant glowing willow in Erinith Forest. I suppose that will serve as the best possible basis for a magical plant. So they grab the Weeping Willow at the lake, 1820. Pyro, I'll be in the middle of a lake. My polar. Yeah, that's written Shilin, but she doesn't really suit the scene. Toma, maybe better. Uh, 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 uh. This is fine. Oh no, I got one from here. Let me just take a look at everybody else. Pyros. Uh, it could be her as well. Ah, oh, it can be Arlequin. Oh, I didn't even thought about her. I'm using her constantly. Didn't even think about it. Uh, uh, but I think she will suit better the scene. All right, team, let's move it. Uh, just another day. Uh, eighteen again. I think press Z after I got there. The image save. Yeah. No. Oh no, I press ask. Okay. And then it just leaves that. Yeah, that's no intuitive. The way I think I just wanted to get out of the menu, not close the whole thing. But alright, that was it. Uh... Okay, last time, let's try to get a Navia. Yeah, I'll leave her for some other time. No more points there. Alright. But yeah, then I'll try to get the uh, Emily once she gets out. But just like Navia. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna test her. If she seems really good during testing, maybe I'll try to spend more on her. But I don't, I'm not really sure. Alright, so I'm off now. <laughs>